Did you guys know that the BYU Creamery sells over 34,000 gallons of chocolate milk every year? It's obvious that as college students, we love and even feel the need to have that sugar rush to get through a day of classes. However, this trend isn't just happening here on our campus, but also as a nation. The USDA reported that between the years 1950 and 2000, America's sweet tooth has increased by 39%. As an exercise and wellness major, this is something that greatly concerns me because with this increase in sugar consumption, there's also been an increase in diabetes and obesity. Today, I want to speak to you guys about why we should cut sugar as a nation and as a student body as well. The reasons that I think we should cut sugar are to maintain a healthy body weight, have more energy, and so that we can prevent chronic diseases. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is maintaining a healthy body weight. I know this can be a sensitive subject for a few people. However, there's a lot of different ways in which we can calculate what is a healthy body weight for you personally. There are different methods, such as the body mass index. There are skin fold measuring techniques as well as hydrostatic weighing methods where you're submerged completely underwater. No matter the method that you use to see at what percentage of body fat you should have for your personal body type, what is certain is that maintaining a healthy body weight has a plethora of health benefits. By maintaining a healthy body weight alone, you decrease your chances of heart disease by 55%. And if cardiovascular disease were completely eliminated, your life expectancy would increase by seven years. So why aren't we doing it? Why are we consuming these huge amounts of sugar all at once? Granted, I love me some ice cream from the creamery. However, we know that a lot of people think that consuming sugar actually increases their energy, but the opposite is actually true. When we consume a large amount of sugar all at once, there is a spike in our blood glucose level. This triggers the body to release insulin, which then causes a rapid intake of blood glucose into the cells. When we have this really steep spike and decline, this is what causes the irritability, tiredness, and lethargy known as the sugar crash. However, to maintain a more consistent level of energy throughout the day, we need to replace these processed sugars to healthier and more natural sources of sugar throughout our day, such as honey, peanut butter, and fruits and vegetables. That's right, even vegetables have healthy sources of sugar. The next and last subject I want to talk about is preventing chronic disease. The USDA found in the year 2010, Americans consumed 152 pounds of sugar each. That's the equivalent of 32 additional teaspoons per person per day, which is the amount of sugar you find in a can of soda. So by drinking a single can of soda every day, by the end of the year, you would have consumed more, an additional 152 teaspoons or pounds of sugar. The USDA actually recommends that we consume a little over two teaspoons of sugar every day. Clearly, we're, hitting, we're not hitting the mark with sugar consumption, and sugar is the number one additive in our food staples today, even greater than sodium. The CDC has released also slides about the increasing rates, rates of obesity in our nation. In the year 1993, we see that as a nation, we, we were at around a 10 to 14 percent obesity per population per state. Flashing forward in the year 2000, you see that all the light blue has almost completely disappeared and we're closer to a 15% of the population per state being obese. Closer to our day in the year 2010, the blue is completely gone and obesity rates have skyrocketed to a whopping 30% per population per state. I just want to urge you guys to examine your pantries, read the food labels, and to really make those healthy choices that are necessary and changes in your diet to lower your sugar consumption, to replace it for healthier sources of sugar. 
so that you can avoid this national train wreck. Thank you.